actually needs to be somewhere. And action! Action! This is a dogfish shark. It's a kingdom animalia. Phylum, Chordata, Subphylum, Vertebrata, Superclass, Nathostomata, Class, Chondrichthys. This happens to be a female shark. She's probably three or four years old. She's in the pre reproductive stage of life. Um, working on the dorsal side, doing some external structure. You notice that I started the dissection without a scalpel in my hand. Here we have. I love it, you look at me, Travis. A pair of dorsal fins. And here we have a caudal fin. Now, the caudal fin is on the tail. We have a specific, a specific name for this kind of tail. It's called a heterocircle tail. Now, you can see. The top lobe is bigger than the bottom lobe. The dorsal lobe is bigger than the ventral lobe. Refer to that as a heterocircle tail. <gasps> Broke. There's a couple holes in the top of the head called spiracles. They allow for the exchange of water into the into the um, pharyngeal cavity while the shark's laying on the on the bottom. So it can still breathe. It can still bring water in without getting a mouthful of sand. And it can take a nap. And it can take a nap. Here we have what's called the lateral line. It kind of disappears right here, but you'll have to trust me, it's there. Sensitive to uh, water currents. <laughs> here we have two pectoral fins and two pelvic fins. Up near the nose, we have two nostrils. Sensitive to, uh, it's for smell, but not for breathing. And then the little pits up here, we saw these little freckles. Those are pits, and each one of them houses ampullae of Lorenzini sensitive to electrical fields. Looking on the inside of the shark, so good. the first thing you notice is how shiny the inside is. Now, the thing that Dan is touching with his index fingers is the peritoneum. We've seen the peritoneum before, we're going to see it again. It's just that mesodermally derived membrane. Another thing you notice is this big old liver. Two giant pieces of liver. Mm, liver. In fact, there's more, more than two lobes. Now, the liver is big for a couple reasons. It houses a lot of oils helps the shark with buoyancy, helps it to flow. It also houses a lot of metabolic waste products. So it keeps the shark kind of closer to being isotonic with its environment. Here we have the stomach, big stomach. Now the stomach is expandable and we open the stomach up, we found some stuff inside the stomach. In fact, that is another little fishy. You can see there's fins here. This is probably a, a cranium right here. There's, you don't get to keep that. Um, there's a vertebral column right here. So. Thanks, Travis. Also inside the stomach, you see little wrinkles. Here's some right here. Those are called rugae, and they allow the stomach to stretch. They also allow an increase in surface area when the stomach isn't completely full. Working our way around, we have the duodenum. It goes here. It's kind of a Z-shaped structure called the duodenum. At the first corner of the Z-shaped structure, we have the spleen. Always kind of arrowhead shaped. And a couple other accessory structures. Here's one right here. You can kind of see the difference in color. That's a piece of the pancreas. And then we have another piece of the pancreas that I have a hard time finding initially. There's a, there it is. There's a piece right here pointing with my thumb. I broke it earlier. And oftentimes you can see it over here. There it is. Another piece of the pancreas. And then this piece is called the, the ilium. Okay. This is called the ilium. It's uh, the homologous structure to the intestine of humans. Um, there's some specialized structures in there, but we'll open that up uh, in a little bit. We'll get inside there. Here's the rectal gland. Secretes a chemical into the, into the feces and is uh, kind of responsible for chemical communication between this shark and all the other sharks around. As I mentioned before, this is a female shark. The ovaries are found right up here. This is obviously an underdeveloped ovary. Oftentimes you'll find eggs inside it, but this is a young one. Um, so there's an ovary there, kept very, very deep inside the shark, very, very, very well protected. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and get the male shark out. Cut. <laughs>